Yo, this is uh, Team HOC coming at you guys with yet another GB video. There's just so many. It's ridiculous. If you guys want me to stop doing so many GB videos, tell me. Or they're just going to keep on coming. Sad but true. Um, uh, before I start this video, I just want to say uh, if you guys play on Dueling Network, hit me up. Um, my uh, username on there is Silverskin. Uh, all one word, all lowercase. Uh, it is also look down oh, uh, uh, in the description. There's a bunch of uh, information down there. Uh, my dueling network name, uh, Tommy's eBay, which is pretty much a team's eBay. <laughs> Make that dude sell everything. It's like the pimp. Anyways. Um, my Facebook's on there, not that you guys want to hear random things about me, but it's on there. Uh, our our uh, forum is on there, that's really dead. But anyways, just, uh, 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 there it is, boom, huge finger, giggity, down there, check that out. Uh, anyways, back to the video. Uh, just a video of my deck, my deck list. Um, playing uh, Dimensional Glads. So we'll just get going on this. Uh, so first we're going to start out. We got Triple Aquari. Um, you know, Trip Trip Aquari is always going to be good. Uh, maybe not the best choice. I'm not too sure. Haven't got too much testing with this build. Uh, you know, dueling network here and there. But for some reason I keep on going against Scrubs. Either people that are horrible with rulings and don't know what things do, like, and there's their cards, or, you know, whatever. Uh, anyways, back to the cards. Yeah, good Tengu beater. Uh, there's not too much Tengu in my local meta, um, so, you know, the trip doesn't shine as much as it would, like last format when there was trip Tengu everywhere. Uh... But, you know, it, it comes in with that 21, which I want to say that a lot this video uh, can get over important things being uh, beige when um, Gate's out, he's at 19. Uh, Snow, when Gate's out, is 2k. So, I mean, boom. You got that 21. Uh, Venus with Gachi out, 2k. You know, that, that vital 21, that, that's what helps you, you know get get over get over their good plays pretty much you know it's the beats boom next double quest you know it's stape stape card stape number uh recycle chariots why it's good that that's why the next good this chariot you know and this this lets you have one chariot multiple times like a cheap prostitute i mean anyways Darius, uh, even though this is the dimensional version, there's still going to be times when things go to the grave, you know, early game, mid game, whatever, because they're going to be wasting their resources to get rid of that fissure. Uh, so you're going to you, you're going to see some GBs in the grave, you know, and this lets you one card anything, uh, one card. Um, you could exceed if you want. I mean, there's always, you know, one card going to SCRE, one card Gazarus if BC's in the grave. Um, another a good play is after Gazarus, you go Lakari, Darius, um, get something going to hurt, you know, have the, the nuts back row and still have, you know, two cards in hand at least. You know, you're golden, you know, and this, and this is what makes it happen. And it's 17 beats. I mean, what's not to like? Beastie, uh, you know, it's Beastie. I so wish that I played when it was at 3. It would have been beautiful. But, this is what we have now, and it's all secrety. I still want soup. I'd still take the soup over the secret. If you guys disagree, put it in the comments. Uh, Retiari, of course, the card that originally comes in secret, I don't have in secret yet. Makes me sad faced. Uh, it's it's the reusable reusable crow. I mean, I know this is still D. You know, as it's fish glads, it doesn't have as much utility, but I I don't have to tag into it. And you know, that's a really nice thing about GBs. I have all these options 
Um, if if I want to go into Red Tiari, it's going to be there. You know? And it's water. So they could play Super Poly and make me cry, which is the moral of this deck. Uh, Merm. You know, I, I've, I've been derped so many times by Gores. Like, I've just been, like... It's ridiculous. With, with uh, like, my Asian deck, I lost this Blackwing kid a couple weeks ago, and uh, he beat me game three with Gores. Like, I couldn't draw anything. Um, this makes the Gores play on your opponent, like, a lot less, like, a lot less good. You know, they go into Gores, they get a 21 token, more than likely. Um, I destroy their Gores, they kill Merm. Or, you know, or I have back row. Um, if they kill Merm, it's not the end of the world. I just have to go into Darius and go into SDRE. Or Darius, Laquari, you know, go into... It, you know, it, it's going to be back in the deck. If it gets removed from play, though, that's when I'm sad-faced. Hop, hop, hip-hop anonymous, dude. Um, because I really, really like doing the T-set, you know. First turn, first game. And then them running into it and being like, really? Why are you playing Glad's deck so bad? And I'm like, Merm. And then I proceed to, you know, swing directly and start getting my tag on. Uh, 24D when it comes in, meh. It's a wall. It is what it is. Next, uh, double, double Sidra. Um, you know, this... Auto fuck. Yeah, there we go. Focus. Boom. Um, I don't know about this main deck. I haven't really had too much testing time, like I was saying. Uh, you know, my reasoning for this is going to be the same reasoning as why it's triple quarry. I mean, it doesn't say GB in the name, but it has a 21 beats. Uh, you know, I, I think it's going to be relevant. We'll see. Maybe it won't. But, you know, uh, it's beats and it's bait. You know, they pay, play bottomless. Okay. I summon the quarry afterwards. Okay. At least I, you know, I didn't get my GB bottomless. You know, that's, that's the important thing. Um, you know, also, you know, go against those, uh, rogue, uh, machine decks. You go Kameratek. And they are like, wait, what's that? Because they're noobs. Um, next, uh, if you saw in my video, um, which I probably shouldn't, do something with over here, like link it or something. Uh, I kind of explain these. You know, it, it's a walking D fissure. Um, I could see how it's bad though. Like that's a, that's a, that's a, it's it's good and it's bad. It's weak. Uh, it's only 16. Um, instead of being like D fissure where it's all monsters, if you look at this nice new upgraded text, any card sent or, yeah, sent to the graveyard, is banished and said. So, um, wow. Wow, that's horrible. Okay, there we go. Um, anyway, so, it's bad if you play Chariot. Like, I don't know. I think this might be going on the outs, but I want to test it first. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I don't need to spend too much time on that. Next, spells. Namesake. Boom. Fissure Glads. It's Fissure. Um, I already could ask me why I play this in, in Glads. Uh, you know, the, and the basic answer was because it doesn't hurt me. Like, if if it hurts me, it's it's player error. Here's there's that nice new Konami simplified text. Any monster sent to the graveyard is banished instead. So. You know, uh, when I tag, uh, if I'm doing it right, they're going back to deck. All my vital cards are, um, they play Mirror Force, I cry, you know, QQ. It is what it is, but, uh, it, the important thing is, though, it shut, shuts down their initial vital plays. Um, me, it only shuts me down if I mess up. You know, and I, I think that's the important thing to realize about this, like, uh, plants... You know, it messes up the whole deck. Um, agents, you know, it, it doesn't mess up their uh, their early plays, um, like going into Gachi and Venus and stuff like that. 
Uh, they could still go into Hyperion, but what's going to have to happen is they're going to have to take it from their hand. You know, so they start losing hand advantage. Um, and then, if you're doing it right, they shouldn't have any monsters in the grave, so they can't blow things up. So they, they're sitting there with that 27 beats. You know, that's really good, but you have other outs for that. It's the effect that you're worried about. Um, Christia, no Christia, which, like, huge problem. Um, Dark World literally shuts down the deck. Uh, you know, people are, they could say, wait, hey, they could, uh, ditch Grefa. No, they can't. Grefa's beast, but if it's banished, it doesn't do diddly, diddly. So, anyways, enough ranting about the Fissure. Next. I know this is really trashy, doing deck profile with Proxy, but it is what it is. So, everybody should know, uh, I didn't talk about Lance in the last video. You know, offensive, defensive, immunity, lose, you know, makes them lose attack, blah, 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 makes your monsters bigger without making them bigger. It's like, I don't know. Anyways, the rota. The rota of the deck. Uh, we play low monster count, so, you know, we need trip proving ground. Um, it makes those really good plays possible. Like, uh, you're sitting on 1GB on field forever, you hold Proving Ground until you absolutely need to make the Gazaras play, and then, boom, it happens. And then you draw into another one, like, it's, it's good. It's good. MST, uh, you know, I kind of want to, uh, to put the third one in, um, just because we could you know, take cards out, like, uh, gate, um, back row that I don't like, because, like, I don't want my shit bottomless, true story, I don't want my stuff going removed from play, I want all their stuff going removed from play, um, so, you know, I've, I've been thinking about taking this card out, um, and I know that sounds really, really, really bad, because it's reborn, but I mean, I have five cards that remove from play, and it's GBs, so I mean, uh, if I need to have any reoccurrence, it should be Darius. You know, so, meh, tell me what you think about that. I'm probably not going to yet. I might test it on DN, but IRL, not gonna happen, I think. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Anyways, you already saw these, or well, you saw that. You know, the, the Trin, the Broxes, the Darks, whole heavy... And book, because book's book, and book is better in this deck than most other decks. Because you go book, run into shit. Simple. Uh, so that was spells, and this video is way too long, but I just can't shut the hell up about GBs. I don't know why. Trip, War Chariot, too good. Reason why deck's good. Chariot shit all day long. It's beautiful. Uh, bottomless. Next. Um, you know, I, I have one warning. I didn't want to play one random warning and one random bottomless, so I just went two. I know that sounds really stupid, but, like, and it, it, sometimes with this deck, it seems like it gets to the point where I take hits, take hits, take hits, and then come back. You know? So, you know, it is what it is. I like bottomless as a card anyways. Uh, getting that removed from play kind of goes with the theme. The theme anyways. I really want to get rid of the Greffas. And, and the uh, the Christias and the Hyperions. Again, you know, this this kind of goes with the theme. Uh, I know, like, this, uh, it, it's not chainable. You know, that's a downside. Um, if they play heavy MST, meh. I mean, at least it wasn't on my chariot. Uh, it's good. Gets rid of their powerhouse cards if they're dumb enough to attack. Which, to win the game, they have to attack. So, uh, you know, remove from play the uh, the, the Graphas, the Christias, the Hyperions, all that shenanigans. This Compulsory Evacuation Device. I really like this card. I've been playing it for days. I think I've been playing this card, like, way too long. It's good. Uh, it, it makes your opponent neg. I mean, it's... 
you, you hit a synchro R and exceed, they lose everything that they put into that. Like, they, they made their big push, you know, invested, you know, like three, you know, two to three cards into it, and they have nothing to show for it, just because you returned it to their extra deck. Uh, really good. It's the it's semi-OTK stopper. You know, it's just a, it's a push stopper. It's like a chastity belt. Anyways, judgment, stape, force, stape, trenchal, stape. Trenchal, trenchal's more dangerous though, because if I have defissure and I'm forced to activate that, and I have a monster on field, then I better make sure it's the right play. Or I fuck myself. Uh, dust shoot, you know. Uh, dust shoots, dust shoots. Better this format because it, we're seeing a little bit heavier monsters because of MST and heavy. So even mid game, this can still be a viable. Like, oh, I draw it. It's it's not like I'm completely screwed if I draw it, man. Uh, especially if I'm winning. It's like win more mid game. Uh, next, we'll just kind of go through the rest a little bit quicker because we're gonna hit 20 minutes. But whatevs, Herc. Double SCI. Double Geezy. Tamer Attack, because you run Sydra. Utopia, because, like, you should never go into Utopia. But, I mean, it's there. Levier, because if I can go into Levier and a boss monster is removed from play because because of Defigure, then, like, I, I could just... Just rape with their card or my card, whatevs. Trish, I don't have any tuners, so these are these are here because I got given a tuner on DN through like creature swap or the no, it was the TG card, and for some reason the dude couldn't get rid of their own card. Like I don't know what the hell was up with that. I think I had outs to it, but anyways, I, I didn't have synchros because I was a scrub. Anyways, so side. Double Ryo, um, the only time I would put this in is if I took the Banishers out, which, you know, that's, that's good. Whatever. Kaiku, because Kaiku is good. Um, I, I, I think it's going to be really hard putting these in because it's removed from play cards. And I already have a shit ton of cards that are removed from play cards. But, you know, this, this is the initial side. It's this locals, so I mean, if it doesn't work, then I'll just take them out. Simple. Crows. Random Juju. Yeah, I'm not sure why I'm liking this Random Juju so much, but it just sounds really good. Because they think they're going in the hop, but they're not. They're like, whoa. Whoa. Um, the only problem I could see with Juju is... If it, like... I don't know. No. Eh. 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 MST. Because it's the third MST. Random noblemen for random dot decks, things that run Rikos and all that shenanigans, leechings, uh, because I I could make beats if I could get over there like Chrissy's and stuff makes me happy. Light imprisonings because I don't run any lights except banishers and those probably you know meh. test testy testy um, mind crush. For the obvious decks that search a shit ton or play pots. And chain for random decks that run chain level cards. Disappearance. Anyways. So, this was a super duper long video. Sorry guys. But, uh, comment, rate, subscribe. If you want me to keep, uh, making GB videos, let me know. Um, actually, if you don't want me to keep making GB videos, let me know. If you stuck through this 20 minute video, you're a trooper. I salute you. Um.